Conspiracy of the Harem Against Ramses III reveals the secret of the screaming mummies. Two mummies were found, one of a woman and the other of a man, both belonging to royalty. What added to the mystery was that both mummies were discovered with their mouths wide open, suggesting a death marked by immense horror with faces filled with pain. The question arises about the enduring agony that seems to persist for over 3,000 years. Dr. Zahi Hawass, the renowned Egyptian archaeologist and former Minister of Antiquities, announced the solution to the mystery of the screaming woman mummy found in the royal cache at Deir el-Bahari in Luxor in 1881. Working with Dr. Sahar Salim, a radiology professor at Cairo University specializing in archaeological radiology, they used CT scans to reveal the cause of her death. The results confirmed severe coronary artery atherosclerosis, affecting the heart, neck, abdominal aorta, thoracic and lumbar vertebrae arteries, leading to heart muscle damage. This sudden heart attack claimed the life of the Egyptian princess when she was not yet 60. The peculiar position of the mummy compelled researchers to delve into her identity. The linen wrappings inscribed with hieratic script identified her as Princess Merit Amun, a royal daughter and sister. There were multiple ladies bearing this common name, including Merit Amun, daughter of King Sekinen Ritao from the end of the 17th dynasty, 1558 to 1553 BCE, and Merit Amun, daughter of King Ramses II, 1279 to 1213 BCE, from the 19th dynasty. Thus, the unidentified screaming mummy earned the title Screaming Woman Mummy. Her death occurred in a position with bent and twisted legs, and the anguished facial expression resulted from a heart attack, haunting her for more than three millennia. The Second Screaming Mummy Inside the royal cache at Deir el-Bahari, the Screaming Man Mummy was discovered. Modern studies, including CT scans and DNA tests conducted by the Egyptian Mummy Project team, identified him as Prince Pentower, son of Ramses III, who was compelled to commit suicide by hanging as punishment for his involvement in the assassination of his father, King Ramses III, in the infamous harem conspiracy. Unlike the meticulous treatment given to Princess Merit Amun's mummy, Pentower's fate was harsh. His body was left without embalming, and it was wrapped with sheepskin, symbolizing impurity. Signs of hanging were found on his neck, aligning with the narrative inscribed on the papyrus detailing the harem conspiracy, recording the story of the plot to kill King Ramses III. The precise examination of the neck area with CT scans revealed that someone had ambushed him from behind, stabbing him in the neck with a sharp, pointed weapon akin to a dagger. Prince Pentower had participated in the harem conspiracy to murder his father, Ramses III, collaborating with a sorcerer who introduced a wax statue saturated with black magic. The intention was to afflict the king with paralysis. By concealing the assassins who would sneak into the palace, the sorcerer was executed in the market square as a warning. However, Prince Pentower faced the judgment of suicide by hanging, while the fate of the wives involved in the harem conspiracy remains unknown to this day.